Hart. Ando the handoff to Morsell. Errol Morsell able to turn the corner on James Palmer and underhand it to the rim. Good start for Maryland. Maryland 11th in the conference in three-point shooting at 34%. Palmer on the drive. Gets his first two to the Huskers' leading score. Get back in transition. They got to play half court. Oh, rejected. Coming out of nowhere, Ricky Lindo Jr. Tedder Borkhardt off the bench for the first time tonight for Nebraska. Had nine rebounds last game against Southwest Minnesota State as Glenn Watson hits the three. We're gonna move it to the FIBA specifications. Try to open up the game more, create more space, which I think is always a good thing. Nice lob underneath, and Borkhardt able to fin it. Palmer with seven to shoot, driving inside. Muscled it up and in. Using that size. Maryland in this game. Not often we see Smith and Fernando out of the game together. There's Cowan. Beautiful feed from Bender. It's one of the things Mark Turgeon really likes about the presence. Had him down 22 at one point. But again, had to go with a smaller lineup. And Palmer with the three. James Palmer has eight. You don't want to get him going. Watch Jalen Smith at 6'11", trying to guard him all the way out there. And Palmer able to get the bucket and the foul. Playing an unranked team, young team on the road. Get the W. Here's Allen going baseline. The pull-up over Fernando Falls, and Nebraska will take a four-point lead into the locker room. First half, Maryland outscored him 6-5 from the foul line. Smith, they will get past Copeland, who went for the steal, and Jalen Smith knew what to do with it after that. By Maryland getting back defensively. Looked like an opportunity for the Huskers. Now Watson on the oh, bounce to Ruby in the finish. What a pass. Jalen Smith, you made the post. One big four-round one right now for Maryland. Cowan attacking, <laughs> rejecting. So this year to find the wins on the road. And now another turnover by Palmer. That pass was tipped. Smith going behind the back. Gets all the way to the rim. That's not going to go. But Fernando there to put it in. Now Palmer again to work. Wraparound pass to Borkhart. Got the lay-in. Beautiful. With Wiggins. Cowan now trying to turn the corner. Does find Smith for three and he rolls it home again. That's a pair from deep. Seesaw affair continuing in College Park. Palmer trying to answer. And he does. Aaron Wiggins doing his best to stay with him. You'd think that'd be a pretty good matchup. Now Fernando. Nice up with him. Goodness. That's going to be very disappointing for Tim Miles. There's Watson, pull-up jumper, tough shot, and it falls for Glenn Watson. He's got 10. Found the way back. Huskers up eight with the ball, and now Maryland has chipped away again, back up by two. Well, they got backdoored on that one. There's a double. And Cowan will step in for a long three. Towards the sideline, Fernando oh. back into Watson. Good spin ahead to Allen for the tie. A little better check on that spectator. He can't connect there. He's had to work awfully hard to get free of Morcel. Long pass ahead. Smith, one on the floor. The and the foul. Oh, my goodness. Jalen Smith throwing it down in transition. Here's Ayala trying to attack, and it's taken away by Paul. Allen with 14 to shoot. Back it goes Cowan with an open three. Not going to go. Smith, offensive rebound and put back. Maryland by one. That's why he's in the game. We're tied with 21.5 seconds to play. Nine seconds to go. You want to shoot with enough time to get an offensive rebound. Smith, floater. to go, Nebraska with a timeout. Stay in front of them and don't foul. Copeland triggers to Allen with two seconds. With one second, the lob down low to Roby. That one's tipped away. No foul. Ball game over. And Maryland knocks off the Huskers 74-72. Biggest win for this young Maryland team this season.